Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Beer Bros. This week, we try a ghost from the past, Celis Beer, which has been revived in Austin, Texas. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Dr. Harvey Stein. Steen. So, for our first beer of the week, we have, coming of course from Celis Brewery in Austin, Texas, Celis White, which was their original... Belgian white ale. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, how did it come? I guess, why is it back? <laughs> it was started in 92 as Austin's first microbrewery, their first uh, independent brewery, and started floundering and shuttered on the final day of 2000. The brands were acquired by Michigan Brewing Company which continued to make it until 2012. The original founder, Pierre Celis, died in April of 2011. R.I.P. And... Da-da-da-da-da. Sold to Craft Bev, sold to blah, 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 lots of other sales. And Christine Celis, daughter of Pierre, bought it and started it up again. So it went full circle? Basically. It left... And then so Celis beget yeah. Esau, which beget yeah, basically Jacob. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's basically the circle of life. And if Disney wasn't so much bigger than we were, we could sing it. Can I hum it? No. Disney is really, really big. They've got really, really good lawyers. Okay. I just got one hen house attorney. And unfortunately, they are so new and they've just been revived this year that they don't have anything on their website yet. I think they should keep it that way. So, <laughs> everything that we're looking at, there, there's no information on the beer. Uh, you're going to have to yeah. look on the label the old-fashioned way to see what the ABV is. You need your spectacles? You no, know, I've got multifocal contacts. Thank you. Oh. Uh, and yeah, I'm not seeing anything obvious, but it's a basic wit beer brewed with orange peel and coriander. Okay. So I'm expecting a 5-ish percent ABV unfiltered effervescing nicely, little baby head on it of quarter finger. Yeah, I, I poured okay. mine all f***ed up. I am shocked. All f***ed up. So with that, let's go ahead and give it a sniff. You get the citrus citrus and typical whip beer yeast and yeah but it's a little bit fainter than i'm accustomed to from whip beers i think yeah um yeah i don't know it, it's almost hmm hard to put it into words yeah. yeah and the coriander yeah lots of coriander i think that might be why it's the citrus is a little bit more faint okay well, let's go give it a try Drinky, drink you Very strong on coriander and citrus, then a yeasty hit. Mm -hmm. Not bad though. Very good. Yeah, not overly. Overly citrusy. Or overly effervescent. Little tingle on the tongue. It almost has like a a shandy feel to it. Okay. Yeah. So kind of. I want to say more lemony than orangey. Okay. Almost. And I'm also getting a basic taste. Not basic as in, she is so basic, but... Uh, basic ass beer. Basic <laughs> as in, not acetic basic. Okay. So opposite of acid, acid yeah. base. Yeah. You know any basic bitches? Anyway, so with that, <laughs> be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on Wednesday for our next Cella Spear. Until then, beer bros out. Don't forget to ring the bell. Don't forget to ring the bell if you're watching on YouTube. And that way you get notified every time that there is a new video release. And don't forget to share on Facebook with all your friends so that we can get to know them. So until next week, now Beer Bros out. Oh, weak. It's <coughs> that was a basic ass fist bump. Ow. <laughs>